In the pantheon of Aztec deities, few figures are as fascinating and complex as Huitzilopochtli, the god of war and the sun. Towering over the Aztec mythology, Huitzilopochtli was revered and feared, embodying the brutal yet vital forces of conflict and light. His story, woven into the very fabric of Aztec culture, reveals a deity who was not just a fearsome warrior, but also a guardian of life and order. In this video, we dive into the captivating world of Aztec mythology to uncover the layers of Huitzilopochtli's character, unraveling the enigma of a war god who, contrary to his fierce persona, had a sweet tooth. The meaning behind the name, Huitzilopochtli. Huitzilopochtli's name is as enigmatic as his persona, encapsulating the dual aspects of his character and role in Aztec mythology. The name combines the Nahuatl words Huitzilin, meaning hummingbird, and Opochtli, meaning left or south. This intriguing fusion symbolizes a warrior of the south, embodying both the aggression and swiftness of a hummingbird and the significance of the south in Aztec cosmology. In Aztec culture, warriors slain in battle were believed to be reincarnated as hummingbirds, a notion that further cements Huitzilopochtli's connection to these fierce and agile creatures. Additionally, the south, represented by the left side of the body, was considered a vital and powerful direction. Huitzilopochtli's name, therefore, reflects his role as a resuscitated warrior, a protector from the south, and a guiding force for the Aztec people. Huitzilopochtli's Origin and Birth The origin story of Huitzilopochtli is as dramatic and mystical as the god himself. According to Aztec mythology, his mother, Coatliku, was sweeping a temple on Mount Coatepec when a miraculous event occurred. A ball of feathers, symbolizing the soul of a warrior, fell from the sky, and, upon touching it, Coatlicue became pregnant with Huitzilopochtli. This event was symbolic, intertwining the celestial with the earthly and setting the stage for the extraordinary birth of a deity. The pregnancy sparked outrage among Huitzilopochtli's siblings, led by the moon goddess Coyoxauqui and the 400 Southerners, or Sents on Huitznahua, perceiving the unborn Huitzilopochtli as an illegitimate threat. They conspired to kill their mother. However, the narrative took a dramatic turn with Huitzilopochtli's sudden, miraculous birth. Emerging fully armed and ready for battle, he leaped from his mother's womb, donning his iconic hummingbird helmet and wielding Shukuatl, the fire serpent. In a fierce confrontation, Huitzilopochtli defended his mother by attacking his siblings. He decapitated Koyolshauki, dismembering her and casting her body down the mountain, a scene later reenacted in Aztec rituals. The 400 Southerners fled, pursued by Huitzilopochtli, and were transformed into the stars of the southern sky. This mythological tale not only establishes Huitzilopochtli's prowess as a warrior, but also his role as a sun deity, constantly battling the moon and stars to rise each day. The story of his birth is a testament to the Aztec belief in the interconnectedness of cosmic events and earthly affairs and Huitzilopochtli's central role in maintaining the balance of the universe. Huitzilopochtli in Aztec society. Huitzilopochtli held a central and multifaceted role in Aztec society, revered not only as a formidable war deity, but also as a vital solar god. As the sun god, he was responsible for the sun's journey across the sky, a role that underscored the life-giving force and the cyclical nature of existence in Aztec belief. The hummingbird, a symbol associated with him, represented his fierce and indomitable spirit, embodying the qualities of ferocity and determination in battle, crucial for a society where military prowess was highly esteemed. In Aztec art and iconography, Huitzilopochtli was depicted in varied forms, often seen carrying a shield and the Shukoetl, a mythical serpent embodying his divine weapon. His representations ranged from human forms adorned with jewels and feathers, to more symbolic depictions, reflecting his multifaceted nature as both a warrior and a celestial being. His appearance in various codices, such as the Codex Borbonicus, portrayed him with distinctive blue stripes, hummingbird feathers, and helmets, highlighting his connection to both the terrestrial and celestial realms. These representations were not mere artistic expressions, but symbolic narratives that illustrated his significance and omnipresence in Aztec life and cosmology. The Aztecs' perceptions of Huitzilopochtli in the Aztec worldview 
Huitzilopochtli was not merely a deity of war and violence, but a protector, a vital force maintaining the balance of life and death. His demand for human sacrifices, while seemingly brutal from a modern perspective, was viewed by the Aztecs as essential for sustaining the sun and, by extension, life itself. To them, these sacrifices were a necessary tribute to Huitzilopochtli, ensuring that he had the strength to fight the darkness and thus prevent the destruction of their world. Huitzilopochtli was perceived as a complex figure, embodying both the destructive and protective forces. This dual nature reflected the Aztec understanding of the universe as an intricate balance of opposing forces. He was a revered figure, central to their religious and cultural life, and integral to their identity as a people of the sun, constantly striving to maintain cosmic harmony. Rituals and Human Sacrifice Human sacrifice was a central element of the rituals dedicated to Huitzilopochtli, deeply ingrained in Aztec religious practice. These sacrifices were seen as essential offerings to provide Huitzilopochtli with the sustenance he needed to sustain the sun. The Aztecs believed that without these sacrifices, Huitzilopochtli would lack the strength to defeat the darkness, leading to the end of the world. During significant festivals, particularly Panquetzalisli, which honored Huitzilopochtli, captives and slaves were ceremonially adorned and then sacrificed. The ritual involved the extraction of the still-beating heart, which was then offered to Huitzilopochtli as a symbol of life and renewal. The bodies of the sacrificial victims were then treated in accordance with Aztec customs, sometimes involving cremation or ritual cannibalism. These rituals were not only religious acts, but also demonstrations of Aztec power and piety. They reinforced the social and political order, with warriors ascending in rank based on their success in capturing victims. The practice of human sacrifice, while unsettling to modern sensibilities, was a fundamental aspect of Aztec society, reflecting their deep spiritual beliefs and understanding of the cosmos. Huitzilopochtli's Legacy and Influence Huitzilopochtli's influence on the Aztec Empire was profound and enduring, shaping not just their religious practices but also their societal structure and imperial ambitions. As the patron deity of the Mexica tribe, Huitzilopochtli's mythology played a pivotal role in the founding of Tenochtitlan, the Aztec capital. The city's establishment on an island in Lake Texcoco, where an eagle was seen devouring a snake, was believed to be ordained by Huitzilopochtli, a moment so iconic that it is depicted on the national flag of Mexico today. His myths, filled with themes of struggle, triumph, and resilience, were not just spiritual narratives, but also a source of cultural identity for the Aztecs. They reinforced the values of bravery, sacrifice, and devotion, central to the Aztec warrior ethos. In conclusion, Huitzilopochtli, the Aztec god of war and sun, stands as a symbol of the rich and complex mythology of the Aztec civilization. His narrative, from the dramatic circumstances of his birth to his pivotal role in Aztec rituals and cosmology, reveals a deity embodying both the fierce and nurturing aspects of nature. Huitzilopochtli's story is more than a myth. It's a reflection of the values, struggles, and aspirations of the Aztec people. As we explore these ancient tales, we gain invaluable insights into a civilization that viewed the divine as an integral and active part of the natural and human world.